Howdy. All right, well, this here's a story about getting pulled over and searched in Wyoming. Yeehaw. Um, okay, so it's been a hot minute since this happened, and now I have to rethink about it all. Um, yeah, so I was leaving Montana, headed to South Dakota, the Black Hills of South Dakota, and um, I had been traveling for, you know, a week and a half at that point. And, um, by the way, all of the highways out there are like 80, 70, 80 miles an hour. So I'm used to like going super duper fast. My teeth were bothering me real bad. I like, you know, broke all three of my front teeth, um, in February. And so like they were aching. I don't know if it was cause of elevation, like they haven't ached since, but anyway, they hurt me pretty bad. So I stopped at a gas station, pulled over, got some Tylenol and my freaking tail light was like hanging off and I was like what like I don't even know how that happened so I duct taped that shit together got my Tylenol got back on the road put in my GPS the very first exit that I take and I'm like okay like you're almost in South Dakota you know giddy up take the turn and like two seconds down that road like lights he was on the other side of the road coming toward me put his lights on I'm like you gotta be freaking kidding me so my nerves were like shot anyway I was like in pain I'm like traveling I'm by myself um so he pulls me over and he comes to the window and I'm like fumbling around trying to like I have all these bags I'm like which bag is my ID in number one to find that number two I'm like in my compartment and I have like the expired registration and the new registration. So, you know, not put together, have your shit together. I knew where my shit was in there, but. So I find, and I'm like, are you kidding? Like looking for my ID and he's like, no, no, I'm not. And I'm like, oh, like, you know, I was mumbling to myself. I'm like, I, you know, have all these bags. Anyway, find my stuff, give it to him. And he's like, uh, I was like shaky. I just like my ner like my nerves were just shot. I, I was shaky. I handed my shit and he's like, why are you shaky? And I was like, I was like, I don't like getting pulled over. Um, like I'm all alone, you know, I, I, you know, he's like, well, where were you? And I was like, I just was at this gas station, you know, right before the exit getting Tylenol. And he's like, where were you before that? And I was like, um, I was camping like right outside of Yellowstone in Montana. Um, I've been just traveling. I was in the Grand Tetons, blah, blah, blah. He's like, okay. He's like, uh, let me ask you a question, ma'am. Is there any heroin in the vehicle? And I was like, no, sir. Like, what the heck, you know? And he's like, is there any this, any of that in the vehicle? I'm like, no, sir. He's like, any marijuana THC in the vehicle? I'm like, no, sir. And he's like, all right, um, you're awful nervous. And I'm like, I, I don't know what to, you know, I don't know what to, to say to you. Like, yeah, I fucking, I, I don't know what to say to you. I'm nervous. I get nervous when I pass cops and I'm not drinking or smoking or doing nothing wrong. You know what I mean? It's just whatever. So I didn't say that, but he's like, all right. He's like, I'll be right back. I'm like, okay. And I'm sitting there and I have a blunt and a half in my bag. Um, obviously he shouldn't have a blunt and a half in my bag, but I do. So there's a situation and I'm like, surely he's gonna let me go. Like I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just speeding. Like can't smell nothing. Ain't drunk, ain't stoned, ain't shit. And um, he comes back and he's like, ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to step out of the vehicle. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I have never been asked this, okay? Have never been, I've never been in trouble. Like, there ain't nothing on my record. There ain't, you know, whatever. So I'm like, okay, I step out of the vehicle. We go to the side of the road. And he's like, by the way, I guess I was doing 64 and 45. Um, And he was like, 
so I'm going to ask you again, like, is there anything in that vehicle I should be concerned about? I'm like, no, sir. He's like, um, so if I told you that I had a dog in route coming here and he's going to search your vehicle, that would be fine. And I'm like, I'm like, am I really about to tell you that I have a blunt and a half in my car? Yes, I am about to tell you that. So I'm like, I have a blunt and a half. Like, that is all I have. That, like, that's what I have on me. And he's like, I knew you had something on you, but I'm like, okay, man, like, whatever. Um, and he's like, can you give it to me? I'm like, yes. Like, I go and I get it and I keep them in a mini M&M's tube. And he's like, mini M&M's. I'm like, well, I thought that was a good place for him, blah, blah, blah. He's like, opens it, smells it, makes a fucking face. And he's like, um, is this all you have? And I'm like, yes, that's all I have. He's like, are you sure about that? I'm like, yes. He's like, well, I'm not going to take you to jail um, for weed. He's like, it's legal in most places, but it's not legal here. And I'm like okay I was like are you lying to me because I lied to you and he's like no I don't lie like okay sir um so uh he's like but I am gonna search your vehicle and if I do find anything else you will be going to jail tonight and I'm like okay <laughs> like search it I'm like please take it search my whole vehicle I don't care like just like that's all I have like I just want to go I just want my freedom I just want to be on my way I want to go camping he's like you'll get to your campsite but he's like he points to like the back of my vehicle and he's like stand right here and I like put my and he's like no like I'm like bending over like putting my hands on he's like no just stand there and I'm like okay <laughs> I'm like my nerves are shot I'm like going like this I'm like oh my god like am I really about to get searched on the side of the highway in Wyoming right now yes so uh he starts going through my bags like I have so many bags all my camp shit all, like all my dirty clothes all my everything and I had bought like the Sawyer squeeze or water filtration device thing and it like comes with this like big syringe thing and a baggie and he's like what's this and I was like it's a water filtration thing like trying to explain myself and he's like wow you have like I keep finding cash you have cash all over the place I'm like well like I'm traveling like if one bag gets stolen or lost like then I have another bag with some money like so we kept finding that and kept questioning my money and then, um, then there was all like my baggies, like for, and he's like, why do you have so many baggies? I was like, to, you know, I was like, I'm camping. I'm like for food, for packing trash out, for whatever, you know? And, um, he's like talking to me, just going on. And then he's like, uh, is this legal in West Virginia? I'm like, no, like, does that? You know, I'm like, fuck. So, and he's like, oh, I don't know. He's He's got three kids and yada, yada, yada. Would love to go camping and stuff, but can't. I'm like, sorry, bro. Like, fuck. You know, and he's like, well, I busted. He like pulled like a pound of gummies. Like, because people will buy shit from the states that are legal and then transport things. And he was, like, so sure he was going to find more stuff. I know he was, like, there has to be more in here. This girl is lying. But I was not lying at all. So, that's all I had. And he's, like, well, if you were honest to me to begin with, then I wouldn't be writing you a ticket for this. You should have just gave it to me. I'm, like, I'm so sure. But I was, like, what are you supposed to do? I was, like, I, you know, okay. Yeah, I get it. I'm breaking the law. Whatever. Um, it is. So, it's my bad. I was speeding. I have marijuana. All right. And it kills me because since I busted my teeth in February, I, like, every time I smoke, I get, like, a panic attack. So, I can't even smoke anymore. So, like, I hadn't even smoked at my own house and was, like, I think I'll roll a couple blunts to bring with me. I smoked one time coming uh when coming from Jackson Hole back to my campsite at night it was so amazing I smoked another time 
in Montana at night. And that was it. And then, it, so like literally like a few puffs and uh, not worth it, not worth it. So now I have a court date on August 18th um, for my possession charge and um, my ticket. And, the, and so I don't know what's going to happen to me. I don't, I'm assuming I'll get a fine. I'm hoping I just have to pay a fine. I'm hoping it's not a million dollars. As long as I'm not going to a Wyoming jail, um, you know, I just want to keep my freedom. That's all I care about. So now I literally don't ever want to smoke. <laughs> I'm over it, over pot. But now I've been drinking too much, so that ain't good neither. But, um, yeah. I never thought, and I'm like, outlaws don't cry, like, outlaws don't cry, keep your shit together. I was just glad to be driving away, and I am really nervous about, I guess my, uh, my court is gonna be, a like, a video call thing, which is good, because, or I'd be having to go back to Wyoming. Um, I did tell my mom, I, like, got to my campsite, and she's like, well, that took you longer than you said it would, and I was like, well, I got pulled over, I got a speeding ticket, she's like, Oh, I guess that would have took like a half an hour, but I'm like, why are you clocking me so hard? But then I was like, well, do you want to hear the other thing that happened? And I told my mom and so, oh my God, but pulled over and searched in Wyoming and then all my shit was in disarray. I'm like, sweet, but gave me a little bit of the story and I keep you know, when I got home and telling people I saw a bear, like, face-to-face, -face, basically. And, um, then, like, people would tell people, like, Sh tell them about the bear. Like, something crazy, wild happened. So then, like, the story ends up being, like, super-duper lame. People were expecting, like, that I got into a fight with a bear. But, no, I need to be more interesting. But I didn't tell everybody about this. But I'm going to put it on the internet, I guess. So, <laughs> whatever. Well, that's all. I like loving my hat with this outfit here. I'm not even doing anything today. Like, I'm, I'm like borderline bored, restless, wanting to go out. It's a Monday, got nothing to do. I'm like, just chill, just chill for one freaking day. I'm always running. Anyway, that'll prolong this video if I keep rambling, so. Talk to you guys later. Bye.